this session so few sessions I am going to share the video also so first three to four sessions I am going to share the recordings so don't worry so no need to note down any points uh, I will share the video so total class video I am going to share at the same time I will also send the document also so step by step document will be there you can follow the documents so just listen so listen and understand so no need to note down any running notes or any so no need to no note down any points here so all the documents and everything will be shared so and first today's topic is I'm going to talk about discuss about the how to start an application in Pega BPM tool so first of all if you want to start an application uh, log into the tool using the operator ID see already told you in the demo session if you want to log into the tool first of all we need to start the server so already server is started in my system so we need to start the server first so after that click on login icon it will open the lo login page and the default username and password is the default user ID is administrator the default user ID is yeah once again yeah are in mute your microphones so the default user ID is ADMINISTRATOR at the rate pega dot com and password is install is the default password so first of all we will log in with that operator ID administrator at the rate pega dot com password insta double l see when we first time after logging with this operator ID the first thing is we have to create organization setup so I'll tell you what is this organization setup see when we create this organization setup it is going to create some um, basic requirements for starting an application so organization setup means so what are the basic things required for starting an application it is going to create all those basic things in the organization setup for example so what are the application we are going to develop we have to enter that uh, application name for example say um, let's take so online portal like OLX for example so take a simple application like OLX so in the organization setup name we have to enter that what are the application we are going to develop we have to enter the domain name so here I want to enter a name called OLX so first of all show login to the tool see when we log in with this default operator ID so this is the default page we will get the left side is the task pane see whatever we are developing in the application everything will be stored under the left pane see this is the default class see here there is one default workspace is called pega sample is there so this pega sample we will get with the default operator ID so what is this pega sample means one default sample application pega sample is a default application or we can also call as default workspace we can call this pega sample as a default workspace so later what we have to do is um, based on the application whatever we are developing we have to create our own workspace so here workspace is also called as so the terminology will be here we used to call as class structure or we can also call as class group so in pega workspace is nothing but a 
class structure or we can also call as work group so normally if you want to create our own class we have to temporarily use pega sample so which is a default class so that one we'll do later so at right at present there is no need to use this default one so later when we create the organization id at that time we can create the our own class structure at present so first of all if you want to create a class structure before that we have to create this organization setup so now we will see how to create this organization setup go to designer studio so we how to go to designer studio means click on this pega logo so this is called as designer designer studio so where we can navigate to different options <coughs> yeah everyone sai sridhar rajesh so just started the session so once again i will repeat the from the basic thing yeah so today i started so i'm discussing about how to start an application using the pega bpm tool so the first and basic thing is login with using the default operator id now uh, the user id is administrator at greatpega.com password is install so after logging to the tool uh, we have to create a setup so means so the basic thing for starting an application is creating organization setup so in the organization setup while creating an organization setup it will ask you to enter some name for example i am giving a organization name as olx so based on that it is going to create some basic things for starting an application so i will tell you what are the basic things it is going to create so to create organization setup so to create this organization setup so the steps are go to designer studio so designer studio means click on this pega logo then we'll get a lot of options here like application process data model user interface reporting integration so later we'll discuss you about about these options so to create this organization setup go to organization and security organization organization setup so please uh, don't no need to note down uh, for this topic i'm going to share the video so just uh, see this so don't need to note down any points click on pega logo organization security organization organization setup see in real time applications this organization setup and everything will be created by the business analyst so not actually this task is not part of a developer but in the personal edition uh, we should have some idea about this so even if you are using personal edition is compulsory it should be created by us only so nobody will create for us so in the real time so all this organization setup will be created by the business analyst so it is not task of a developers no need to worry about this so just uh, see how to create this organization setup so in interviews they will ask some so what are the things it is going to create uh, when we create this organization setup at that time so we can explain what and what so but in real time so this setup will be created by the business analyst or administrators so it depends upon the so company architecture so not a task of this developers so when we go to this option it will ask you to enter some organization name for example here i am entering <coughs> organization name as olx i am entering now see in the there is two options will be there preview option and create option so when we click on this preview option and click on run button see it is going to show what are the things it is going to create so these are all the things required for starting an application top level class organization division unit rule set application name uh, work group name work basket name and different types of users so all these are common things which are created when we create the organization setup and under the action tab select 
create option and click on run button now it will create all these things so previously it is showing the preview when we select the create option and click on run button it will create all these things by default no need to create manually so just enter the organization name by default it will create all these things actually in lower versions uh, everything we have to create manually for example in 6.1 or lower versions uh, these all these things we have to manually create everything so but from 6.2 so this is created so automatically when we enter the organization name it will automatically create all these things so no need to manually create any of these things so I'll explain what is what so once after creating this so I'll explain what is top level class organization rule set name application name work group work basket and the different types of users <coughs> so these are all the basic things created <coughs> in real time this can be created in two ways so actually this is one procedure and there is also one more procedure is there uh, that is called as DCO tool so uh, regarding that I will tell you in, in the advanced topics it will get so later under the DCO will have some options called application profiler accelerator so in the coming so later topics we will get this option so at that time I will discuss in detail about this so DCO means direct capture of <coughs> <coughs> objectives so later so using this also so did in so can you hear my voice did you get any problem I think it is showing some message so everyone can hear right is there any problem with the audio okay thank you okay okay fine so actually it is showing some message so experiencing network connected difference okay no problem so there is two procedures so one is using this organization setup and category another way is we can also use DCO tool so direct capture of objectives tool so later we will discuss about this topic so now after creating this setup so setup is created so first of all top level class so the first thing it created is top level class so what is this top level class so in the name itself it is sh uh, sh saying that the top level class so actually we have given a name called setup name we have given as OLX and in the top level class it is created OLX hyphen it is created automatically so what is this top level class means so all actually PEGA contains so in the back end PEGA contains so so many classes will be there already told you so all these classes are nothing but PEGA rules I told so PEGA contains some PEGA rules right so inbuilt PEGA tool itself inbuilt contains some PEGA rules so all these PEGA rules are nothing but the classes which are written on using the Java coding so all these classes are developed using the Java coding so all for all these classes this OLX siphon will act as a top level class so what are the PEGA rules we are having so by built in in this tool so for all these PEGA rules are we can also call as classes for all these classes this top level class will act as a like super class we can say it acts as a super class for all the existing classes so which are available in the PEGA so means uh, it is acts as a this OLX siphon will act as a reference to the all the existing classes which are available in the PEGA PRPC actually this top level class we can also create manually also so that one I will say later so how to manually create the top level class see if you want to create manually means so I told you right so manually also we can create this top level class 
so when we create the top level class manually at that time we have to give the parent class name as actually the main thing is so in the back end there will be some hierarchy will be there so in the classes also there is some hierarchy will be there so in that hierarchy every class will be inherited from the at the rate base class so don't confuse about all these things classes and everything so these are all predefined and we will not do anything so these all happens in the back end so it is a back end hierarchy so and no need to worry about so if you no need to nobody will ask about these things so just uh, if you are working in a pega application so just so yeah you must have some basic idea so from which class so which is the parent class and everything so for that reason only so we are discussing about this organization setup and class structure so but in the real time we will not create all these things so all these things will be already configured so totally so software installation so configuration everything will be done uh, and you will be provided with the operator ID so just with that operator ID you have to log in and what are the tasks assigned to you so you have to start from there itself no need to do all these things so organization setups and everything so just you will provide it with the operator radius or user radius so with that user radius you have to log in and you have to start your so what are the tasks assigned to you you have to do all those things so coming to this top level class so I told you for every in the back end so there is some hierarchy will be there that hierarchy in that hierarchy the top level class is at the rate base class so in that hierarchy the top level class is at the rate base class means uh, simply saying in the back end for this OLX hyphen class the parent class is the parent class is at the rate base class so just remember one point for the first top level class actually this is also called as abstract class actually if anybody have any idea about the Java so in the Java we will have some two types of classes abstract class and concrete class similarly here also we are having uh, two types of classes so this top level class is nothing but a abstract class in pega these abstract class names ends with hyphen and for the first abstract class so just remember one point for the first abstract class the parent class is at the rate base class so means this o for this OLX siphon so which is created when we created the organization setup for this OLX siphon the parent class is at the rate base class and there will be one more class so already similar to the Java here also we are having one more class called concrete class so that one I will tell you so when we create the class structure at that time we will use this concrete class so just I am saying one point for the first concrete class the parent class is work type